Hello, my name is Esther McVeigh. I'm the former Minister of State for Employment. I trained to be a lawyer. I then worked in business, nominated for Cheshire Woman of the Year, Merseyside Woman of the Year. I've written a set of career books for kids and also got a touring play. And at present, I'm chair of the British Transport Police Authority. There's only 30% of women who are MPs in Parliament. It'd be good if there were more, but uh, you can also see it on the journey we've been on. Our journey is 200 years behind that of men. The first um, male Prime Minister of the Great Britain was, was 1727, and the first female MP wasn't until 1919. So you can see we're 200 years behind from then. I guess we've galloped on quite a bit of a pace, but it's still been slow. So what was it, uh, 1929, the first female minister, then 1979, which I guess was a big turning point, was the first female prime minister. And uh, we only just got our second one now in 2016. So there's been 70 plus male prime ministers, only two sort of female prime minister. So I guess if there was an unusual statistic or one that sticks in my mind, um, since 1919, when the first woman took her seat in Parliament, there's been 445 female MPs. Do you know what? There's that many male MPs in the House right now. So that's a long time, not too many women. But you know what, I'm positive, I've been born positive, we'll have quite a few more coming forward. And when I did the book on female firsts, it was interesting that they all said to me, so whether it was Elizabeth Butler Sloss who became a judge, or whether it was Eileen Collinson who became the first woman to command a space shuttle, they said, when you're the very first doing the job, you don't have the luxury of being able to be a feminist because what you've got to make sure you do, you've just squeezed through that door, you've got to carry on opening the door for other people to follow you through. Sort of become so strident, say too many things that could upset people. You might actually close the door to women forever. So they were always, um, their first priority was to get on with men to make sure women had got a good job so they could actually drag more through. My female role model is Anne Widdicombe, cruelly named Doris Karloff. Um, we went on tour together across the UK doing an audience with Anne Widdicombe. She was talking politics, uh, being the politician she is. I was uh, a broadcaster asking the questions and I was so impressed with the way she could answer everything. Yes, she was feisty. Yes, she was focused. Yes, she had a specific point of view, but she could argue it so brilliantly. So even if you didn't agree with her, and trust me, a lot of the audience there didn't agree with her, they loved her because she spoke her mind. She was authentic and she was prepared to voice what other people possibly wouldn't. A bad day in politics is when you're breaking news and when you have got to be at, say, the BBC for 6.30 in the morning. And if you're still the news seven days later, you're probably not in a job. I always say if a girl from Liverpool, a foster girl from Liverpool, can become the Minister of State for Employment, I pretty much think anybody can do anything.